Now we're going to talk about quantifiers and logical connectives and how to come into play uh, in statements. Now, uh, quantifiers and logical connectives are symbols that we use to abbreviate certain expressions in the uh, English language, that they have nothing inherently special about them. They're simply symbols that we use to abbreviate them. So let's start with quantifiers. The symbols for quantifiers we have, for instance, uh, the upside down A, which we use to denote for all. So we could say for all number X, for instance, we have the reflected E, which uh, means there exists. So there exists a certain number which satisfies a certain property. And we have there exists a unique by uh, using the reflected E with an exclamation point. So this would be there exists There exists uh, a unique number which satisfies a certain property. So let's give an example. We could say for all real number x, there exists a real number y such that uh, x is smaller than y. So this means uh, for all uh, real real number x there exists a real number a real number y such that x is smaller than y now, what about logical connectives? I realize that those statements are not inherently interesting, but uh, what we're interested in here is how the notation works. So now we're going to talk about logical connectives. Um, let's say we had two statements, P and Q. Now, logical connectives connect one or more statements. So we could have the uh, AND logical connective. So we could say uh, for statements, P and Q, we could say um, the statement P and Q like so. Uh, we could have the or, so P or Q like so. We have the arrow, which means implies. So we can form if then statements. So if P is true, then Q is true, for instance. What else? Uh, we have the by conditional which I'm going to always abbreviate by IFF, which means it's an abbreviation for if and only if. So uh, it means that P is equivalent to Q. And we also have the uh, unary uh, logical connective we call because it only uses one statement and it simply negates that statement. So it would be like the negation of the statement P. So we could say this is the not logical operator or negation logical connective. So for instance, saying something like x is greater than 2 would be negated as x is smaller or equal to 2. Now let's see one last example of a statement uh, where we have logical connectives and quantifiers. We could say something like for all a real number x, if x is greater than 0, then there exists a unique y such that y is greater than 0 and y squared is equal to x. Okay, again, it's not really like important to understand the mathematical meaning of the statement. Uh, we just want to understand the notation that's going on here. So what we're saying is for all for all real number, real number x, uh, real number x, uh, if x is greater than zero, then there exists, uh, there exists a unique real number y. 
It's a real number. Y such that, so such that uh, Y is greater than zero and Y squared is equal to X. Now, when and how do we use logical qu connectives and quantifiers? The thing is, if you have to write uh, an entire paragraph of uh, quantifiers and logical connectives for your statement, it might be better to just use words. The idea here is that it's meant to be easier to read. Now, I understand that this example might be difficult for you to read right now, but at some point you're going to uh, get accustomed to reading those. So keep in mind that the reason why we have those is to have better uh, legibility and to make it easier to understand the statements. The next thing that you could check out would be the domain of discourse or the universe of quantifiers. But for the moment, I'll leave it at that.